You know, as a kid, I used to hate school because of the uniform, the classrooms, the tests. It was all very. Blah. But today, I am attending school. I love the uniform. I love the classroom, and I love the tests the most. Did I say guests? I meant chairs, or rather seats. Actually, I meant bikes. Because here at Honda's racing school, it was the race-prepared Twister, Stunner, and the Pocket Rockets, the CBR 150s, that the students would be astride on. And what's a classroom without a good teacher? In this case, we had Norbu or Nobby Ueda. After cutting his teeth in the hyper-competitive 125cc class in MotoGP, Ueda-san's track scorching basics are crystal clear. He has amassed 13 race wins and an additional 39 podium finishes. Also on hand was three times winner of 125cc races in the All Japan Road Race Championship, Hiroyuki Babyface Kikuchi. Our teachers had a clear plan to get the riders up to speed. Uh, the first I would like to tell them the, the how, how, what is the best racing line. What is the basic uh, uh, theory for the racing line? No, it means uh, the, the entry is not so important, and the exit is uh, more important. Simple things. In the briefing session, Ueda-san showed us how following the wide-in and tight-out approach around bends would improve our pace straight away. And then it was time to put it to the test. A course was set up to test out the theory, with cones lining the edges of the main straight. Riders then had to zigzag all the way down as quickly as possible. It's really quite simple. On a bike, the idea is to minimize the time spent cornering and hence leaned over because that's when you're at fast throttle. A wide line into the corner allows the rider to straighten up earlier. As a result, the time spent at park throttle is reduced increasing the straight up time between the cones where the bike is upright and at full throttle. This exercise also gives you a sense of how much and how to use the throttle. Now that looks deceptively easy but let me tell you that is a very very good exercise. Every time I've gone around I've gone just a little bit better, a little bit smoother using a bit more of the power. It just teaches you how to control the bike in every sense and I really still have a long way to go. Some of the guys here are semi-pros, so they're just flying around and uh, really what's getting to me even further is the weather. It's hot and inside this leather suit right now, it's like a swimming pool. In the unbearable Chennai heat, you need to be super fit to just keep going. Uh, to make a... Uh... Uh, perfect performance, good performance uh, for all sport. It uh, it need the physical condition, perfect, and uh, also the mental condition uh, must be very strong. Well, we were certainly going to need a lot of mental strength for the next test. A breaking test with a race thrown in. Two riders lined up at one end of the 250 meter main street. They then drag race down to the other end before braking to a complete halt using only the front brakes. Without the stabilizing effect of the rear brakes, locking up the front and hitting the tarmac seems very likely. It took me a lot of control to just stay off the rear brake, but the feel and grip from the front brakes was surprising. I felt very confident and slammed it. The brakes really dug in and I was momentarily caught out as the rear lifted up into the air. Kikuchi and Ueda-san gave riders feedback. They asked me to hold the bike more firmly with my legs and to use the abdominal muscles for more strength. Having an upright position when braking hard also helps. It was all very exciting. Don't change the position, don't change the force that you give to the bike. That was the braking test. It bent a little over hard but uh, managed to stop quite short. That was good, but now I've got to go back for another round and get it smooth this time. As we bent out over and over again, the confidence levels increased and stopping distances decreased. And Ueda-san was quite happy with the progress. 
I was very surprised, for, uh, frankly speaking, because uh, many riders can make uh, very good braking. It was very surprised, and that it means that they're, they have a big possibility to be a fast rider. Braking is uh, one of the um, important techniques to, to pass the, the other rider. It means for the race, it's very important. So oh, I hope that uh, in the future, uh, uh, they, they will be the very good rider, very fast rider. And uh, finally, uh, we, we can see the Indian rider on uh, MotoGP. <laughs> But MotoGP is a distant dream for any one of us. Ueda-san was having a hard time getting the riders to stay on the bike around corners. Influenced by watching MotoGP on TV, most riders were quite eager to hang right off their bikes. Ueda-san insisted that this is of no help in going fast around corners. If you see the machine, the heavy things on the center. You understand? Right. And uh, the CBR uh, 150, for example, the weight is uh, 150, I think, 140 or 150. And the rider's weight with the leather suits, with helmet, everything, maybe 70 kilo or 80 kilo. No? It means uh, 150 plus 80, 230. 230. And uh, 150 and 80 is nearly half, no? Half. The rider's weight, and this this weight of the rider move. You can put where you want. You understand? Yes. If your uh, your weight is uh, far from the center of the weight of the machine, it so means if the machine start to move, or for example, wobbling or sliding, and your weight if your weight is far from the machine. You, have, uh, you can have a serious problem. You cannot control the moving. Right. If you are uh, with your weight is near the weight of the machine, when uh, the machine start to move, and you can move together with the machine. And then you have a more, more possibility to control. control yes, that's why I say stay on the center of the bike. This was an absolute revelation for most of us. And when I put it in action out on the track, the difference was remarkable. I felt more confident and relaxed on the motorcycle, although I was going faster now. It was easy to apply one tip at a time, but putting it all together proved to be quite difficult. But if you did, the results were apparent. I learned like uh, to be in the line, you know, to keep my focus where I need to go. As well as uh, I did the cornering uh, for the first time, you know, leaning uh, from the bike, uh, uh, touching the ground, you know, uh, from the knees and all. That was the first time that I've ever done all this thing. I just used to see on MotoGP. That, that's it. Like it's like uh, seeing my dream come true. I just want to see myself in MotoGP some days. I learned so many things over here. In fact, uh, I learned how to ride on a track uh, over here only, and uh, they were teaching about the uh, basic theory behind racing on a racetrack. And uh, I improved on my vision on a racetrack and the body positioning on the bike while cornering and uh, some other uh, basic technical things. Yesterday I had two sessions. In the first session I was, some, uh, I was doing some timing and uh, in the second session I have improved around uh, four to five seconds. And uh, my personal timing until now has been improved by five seconds. So it's really worth it. And Honda's commitment to making motorsport accessible in India really made it very easy for anybody to be a part of Honda's racing school. It's very simple. You just need to uh, download the uh, application form and then uh, you just need to fill it up and then you have to pay 3,000 rupees. That's it. I got more than I expected. I got a lot. I'm really happy and excited that I come here. You know, it's like. Uh, they're providing a lot of things and uh, especially for the young racers like me. I, we don't know anything right now, but now I'm like a sponge. I'm just grabbing everything that's coming my way. Getting faster was the objective and it was realized by many, although in varying degrees. Here's a quick recap. For cornering, you need to apply the widen, tight out approach. Hold the bike with your legs and keep the upper body relaxed. Always keep your head at the center line of the bike. 
look far and look where you want to go. Now with the basic techniques in place, riders from Honda's racing school and you can chip away surely and steadily towards becoming truly fast riders. Well, I have two days at Honda's racing school turned me into a Valentino Rossi. Well, to be politically correct, that should be Casey Stoner or Danny Pedrosa. Well, either which way is no, <laughs> not even close. Because, uh, well, two days here has moved me up several notches as a rider and with my riding skill having it improved, I'm more comfortable on the motorcycle going fast and that will translate into safer riding even on the roads. But for the expert riders here who've come here looking for saving those vital seconds out on the racetrack, they have certainly gained. Some people have spoken of gaining four to five seconds a lap just within the first day. And that is massive improvement and a massive gain for any professional rider. So those of you who are interested in being part of this Honda is looking at doing this course once again later this year. You need to head to the website to check out the details and you need to sign up immediately because seats fill up really fast. Right after this break, Hormus tells you what to expect at the Auto Expo.